I stayed overnight in a top-rated theme park in all of Europe, and this here was the view from my room. And even though I'm back from the trip, I still don't understand how this place even exists. But it is real. So this place is located in Germany, near Cologne. It's called Fantasialand. Fittingly, this park has some of the most positive reviews of all theme parks. And from the moment you arrive, you immediately feel like you've been transported to another world. And we made it. The check-in area is over there. This is the entrance. You can already hear the people screaming because the roller coaster is literally right nearby. And yeah, this is pretty insane. Here, I just didn't know where to point the camera because there was so much to look at. But anyways, the check-in process was super smooth. Hello. Uh, yeah, I've got a reservation here. I paid almost 600 euros for two nights, so it's not cheap by any means, but there are two reasons I was okay with it. First, it's been my childhood dream to stay inside a theme park. It's always seemed just so magical and so unreal. And the second thing, I just want to know if it's worth the money. And we are on our way to find out. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. So I took my sweet time to make my way to my room and right when I found my floor, that's where I really understood where I am. Whoa. <laughs> and then I realized I may have the best room in the hotel. The best room, 56, 50. yes. Whoa, I have the best room ever. 58, that's me. No fucking way. I cannot believe this. All right, so let's go see what's inside. <laughs> okay, wow, it's not too big. I cannot believe I am inside a theme park right now. Just like five meters outside here is a roller coaster that is gonna fly by hundreds of times per day here. Wow. Okay, where's the light? It's really dark here. <sighs> All right. You know what this means. Room tour. We have an area where I think I can just store my luggage. Or yeah, I can definitely fit inside here. I don't know why I should though. All right. Oh, so this is where your travel gear goes. We have exactly four hangers. They even look old school. And yeah, if you're done, you can just close it and your luggage is safe. We also have this thing for clothes. However, on the other side, we have a nice little TV, then a chair. Unfortunately, the phone we have here is modern. These are my tickets for three days. We got some really nice theming, old school lamps, some newspapers. And yeah, this old school, you have to turn it for this to work. We've got the time here. We've got the goggles and whatever this is. We do actually have some extra space here as well underneath the beds, which is nice. Same on this side. Yep. And that's it for the living room slash bedroom. <laughs> it's not the biggest room. Obviously, this is more like a capsule hotel thing, but my capsule still has one more room left, and that is the bathroom. Shall we go in? I, I cannot go in. Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a sliding door. Yes. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. We've got a medium-sized mirror here, a nice little sink, and it has water. This is our toilet. Kind of cool how they always pack it real neatly in the hotels. Actually, this one isn't that nice. I've seen a lot more cooler techniques than this one. Look, the inside doesn't look nice. But the best thing about this one is it has two layers. This is really uncommon in hotels, so I am super happy about this. <laughs> oh, look, they made a thing with the, with the towel. We got an overhead shower and here we got some towels, some glasses and an extra toilet paper. Super nice so far. Yeah, there we go. There's only one more thing I got to try out in this bathroom. Can you open these windows? Oh, oh, wow. Yo, what? Wait, what? I think I can go on the balcony here. I'm not entirely sure yet, but let me show you. See, so we can just step out of this window and then we are on the balcony. And there are our neighbors. And just look at this. Whoa, I cannot wait to go out to explore. So I think that concludes the room tour. But to me, the most insane thing about this room is the fact that Right outside, literally within a few meters, is a freaking roller coaster. What? Just look at this. Just listen to this. 
There it is. That is, I just, I have no words. How am I even here? <laughs> so I've been just laying down here for the past 20 minutes, just taking it all in and enjoying the screams from outside <laughs> that come from the roller coaster. There you go. And honestly, there is so much more this hotel has to offer. And I'm gonna tell you all about them really, really soon. All right, it's time to go leave our cabin for now and see what's outside. I was gonna do some voiceover for this section where I walk towards the park entrance, but I think it's a much better experience when you just listen to all the sounds and the screams coming from the park. And you might think you would get tired from all this constant screaming all around you. And that crossed my mind as well, but no. <laughs> I never got tired of it. In a weird way, it was kind of relaxing. I think this is the right way. Thank you. That's it. That's all. All right. Thank you so much. So once we go through this gate, we are in the park. Let's go. Ready to fly? Yes, I am, sir. So we made it to the Ruckburg area in the park, which is just one small steampunk themed area with absolutely mind-blowing attention to detail. I had never ever seen anything like it before. The whole park is family owned, so it's really cool to see the attention to detail and the effort they put in it. And of course, mad respect to whoever designed it. So the park has a total of six different themed areas. There's Chinatown, there's Africa, Old Berlin, mystery, Mexico, fantasy, and finally Ruckburg. Ruckburg is my favorite one, just in case you didn't know yet. The park is surprisingly small for what it offers. Like you can literally walk through the entire park within like seven and a half minutes. Yes, I am such a nerd. I had to time it. Sue me. Don't sue me. It's it's really big. It's the biggest park I've ever seen. And yeah, even though the park is small, there's so much to do there that you won't be bored even after two days in the park. As I want to focus on just the hotel experience in this video, I'm not going to show you much of the rest of the park because I will be covering it in my next video. But now I think it's time we try the fly roller coaster that's been tempting me since I arrived in this hotel. I got three fast pass tickets and I'm going to use one of them right now. With a fast pass ticket, you can literally skip the whole line and all three of my tickets were included in the price of the hotel and it feels incredibly good to skip a 40 minute line now i am gonna have to give away my bag so i will see you later why is it called fly good question it's because you're literally flying on it <laughs> like when you get on the coaster you start off in the normal like seated position as you would but then when the ride starts it turns you into this prone position so you're literally staring at the ground which is a pretty crazy feeling if you're doing it for the first time and then suddenly it just launches into the Ruckburg area all right so i'm definitely gonna try that again that was fun i sat in the middle area so could have been more insane but yeah there's a lot of near misses where you feel like you're gonna crash into the wall or some object but Obviously you don't, but yeah, it, that creates a really awesome feeling. That's so awesome. I want to do that again. <sighs> okay. Uh. One of my favorite things about staying in this hotel is the fact that whenever you feel exhausted, tired, overwhelmed from the park, which is usually what I feel like after spending a couple of hours inside there, you can just come here and chill for a little bit and recharge and then head back into the action. But it is 6 p.m. right now and in exactly 15 minutes I have something amazing to show you. Anyways, it's time to get ready for that second surprise. I'm so tired I might go to sleep. Oh, it's so nice in here. All right, it's time to get ready. So I made my way through the exclusive bar that's accessible for hotel guests only. Spoiler alert, it's kind of overpriced. And then I ended up in the restaurant for my dinner reservation. The menu was all online. Uh, I ordered it out of Tatar or something. I don't know what it is exactly, but I'm gonna try. It looks tasty, so let's see. Yeah, this is good. 
Also, what's really amazing is that I literally ordered like five minutes ago and within a couple of minutes it was here. So everything works super quickly here. This is just a starter. I ordered a burger as well and I got some ice cream dessert. And it's all in the price of the hotel. So I'm feeling kind of luxurious, not gonna lie. All right, so I'm done with my starter dish. And yeah, that was pretty good. I don't know what I ate, but I enjoyed it. And yeah, the atmosphere is really cozy here super enjoyable super nice feels very professional uh yeah worth the price and just like that within one minute after i put down my phone from recording the food arrived <laughs> it looks really good so i'm gonna chomp it down and yeah that's it I'm a person who usually doesn't enjoy restaurants at all. That was kind of nice. Yeah, I like the food. I like the atmosphere. If there's anything slightly negative I could say about it, then maybe it felt a little bit rushed. Actually, no, I, I take that back. I like the fact that it was really fast. Oh, it feels so peaceful, so nice. And actually, this brings me to another surprise I have for you, but we got some time until then. So I'm just gonna chill in my room and I will see you soon. I think it's time I show you the final surprise for tonight. There's gonna be more tomorrow, but there is just one more thing left to do tonight. It is 9 p.m. The park is fully closed, yet I am in the park just walking around. And that's another thing you get when you stay in this hotel. You just get to roam around free in this park at night and I'm gonna take full advantage of that because this is freaking awesome <laughs> I cannot believe this is real I can't it's amazing that you can even do this I don't really have anything to say here I am where am I <laughs> I think that's the only question I have oh one thing I do want to say is that it's currently 9 p.m. and I think you can walk around here in this park until midnight you can only walk around in this area, so you cannot go into other areas like Africa and uh, China. Only this one, but I think that's totally fine, that's good enough for me. Yeah, wow. Well, it's funny, they still have the epic music going on. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's fine. It's just regular folk. It's just really cool to see other people come out as well, who are st people who are staying at this hotel and just just vibing, just chilling. I feel like that's the only time where you can really take it all in and enjoy the theming. Like I can see so many details that I missed during the day. And the car is about to about to go on the road, I guess. Okay, it died. <laughs> the lights, the music, the theming, the fog, the sound effects. This is top notch. This is well worth the money. You like I I don't know what to say. Like you just you just have to experience it yourself. Just just do it. Just come and stay here just one night. It'll be worth it. No, I'm not sponsored by Fantasia Land. I wish I was. During the day, there's just so many people here and I don't know what it is, but I tend to get really exhausted whenever I'm in a crowded place like this. So I think this makes it for me extra nice to just be able to enjoy it while it's completely empty because now it's just so chill. This reminds me a little bit of the night in Poland when I was in front of Energylandia at night just riding around my bicycle. It's just something about the fact that it's peaceful and and yeah, I guess that's it, peaceful. It feels nice. I could continue showing you around, but that would make a really boring 40 minute video. But I will tell you that in that two week period where I visited four different theme parks, that's what my next video is gonna be about. This was the only night where I completely forgot that the outside world even exists. I wonder what's inside this. <laughs> Like there's something inside, definitely. And once it gets really dark outside, inside the park feels even more cozy. All right, well, it's been a long day. It's almost midnight. I gotta get some rest. There's a couple of things I want to show you tomorrow. I also still have two fast passes to fly left. Gonna have to use them. All right, good night. Good morning, sleepyheads. It is currently 8 a.m. In exactly half an hour, we've got some breakfast. <sighs> Good morning. 
again the sleep was really good uh, i slept like a baby which is i guess the point when you're in a theme park so now i'm gonna head on to breakfast i can already smell the breakfast it smells good breakfast was great it's the classical open buffet with some really great choices i got some eggs american pancakes a croissant some cheese and ham, yogurt, orange juice, and the bananas I stole for later. <laughs> the yogurt was really good, and the American pancakes, yeah, very sugary. Also, quick side note, the bar area looks super nice during the daytime. All right, good morning. The park is now open. It's actually 9.15 a.m. and that means the park is literally empty, there's nobody here. Only the people from the hotel that were staying here overnight. Currently we can see them doing test runs on the roller coasters. There's no people allowed on the coasters yet. So it's just empty coasters, which is pretty nice to see as well. Obviously, I had to go ride it again. <laughs> and I swear, using the fast pass access in a theme park feels like you're the president just walking past the crowd. <laughs> it feels good. Overall, I spent the second day filming for the next video. And at night, I got some nice dinner as well. And I met some really cool Germans who I hung out with. And by the way, that bowl of alcohol-free cocktail cost like 25 euros or something. Luckily, the Germans paid for it. <laughs> and just like that, it was the morning of my final day. It's gonna be really sad to leave this place, but gotta move on, on to the next one. Last look to the Charles, Charles Lindeberg Hotel. <sighs> that was sad. Leaving this place, it sucks. Truly the best theme park I've ever been to. And I've been to like four of them. <laughs> no, actually I've been to six. Yeah, I don't even know what to say.